Okay, so we have another video here on how to do the processing. And specifically, we're looking at our manifest destiny and territorial expansion. So right away, you can go ahead and pull up these notes because these are the notes that you're going to be pulling information from. Uh, review your notes. That would be the first thing. And make sure that you understand the information. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use a piece of paper that looks like this. <clears throat> and we're going to be doing it on paper. Cami will be for the Zoomers or people in quarantine to use, but it's probably going to be a little bit easier to do it on paper. Also, if you want to do it on Cami, just please ask. And um, I probably won't have a problem with it. Just um, I just want to kind of see where everybody's at. Okay, so basically, you're going to go back to your notes. You're going to choose one of these five acquisitions and tell the story. Louisiana, Florida, Oregon, Texas, and Mexican session. Okay. The very last one we did, Gadsden purchase, is not going to be an option. So please don't do that one. Now, once you've decided which one you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and just focus on that particular one for your whole story. So you're going to put the title of the land acquisition in the very first box and your name. And when you're going through this, you're just going to use whatever is on the top, Oregon country. Okay. And then you're going to tell the story using captions, voice bubbles of how the land was acquired. Make sure you use the places, names, years, and events that happened during the acquisition. Okay. So the great thing about these is the timeline that is presented. And don't forget, you can zoom into these if you need to. But the timeline is going to give you the information that you need. Now, this is not where you want to copy and paste, okay? You summarized, you don't want to use that either. So what you want to do, the skill that you're going to be practicing now is that good old paraphrasing skill, okay? So you need to um, put these in order. Some of the words you're going to keep, you have to keep the word Oregon, you have to keep United States. Ha however, there is other ways that you can tell the story besides um, just copying and pasting this word for word. And it will be very obvious. I've read these several times. And so I will know if you're copying, pasting, and you will be downgraded for that. So please don't do that. Um, but you can definitely use the timeline that is the expectation. Um, but you are paraphrasing, okay, you are putting it in other words, putting it in your own words. And also think back to when we did the maps on the floor, what the information was as well, okay, which a lot of it was the same. So you are using that information. And that's the reason there's not an exact number of boxes as there are on this page is because I don't want it copied word for word. The processing is for you to show me that you learned something and you can't do that if you're just cutting and pasting. That's not um, that's okay for taking notes and getting your information gathered. It's not okay for an assessment. Okay. So um, years, places, names. And then the other thing I want you to do is to use the audience call phrase. And the audience call phrases are over here. So they are also on your notes as well. Okay. So all of Oregon or none was the audience call phrase that we used for Oregon. And so on my notes, since I'm doing Oregon, then I would put it somewhere in here, okay, just like we did throughout the story. <clears throat> um, and then after getting those important details, you need to go ahead and color your graphic novel. So whenever I give a good grade, it is not necessarily because these pictures are outstanding. I am absolutely fine with stick figures um, as long as you're telling the story. So you're getting the story, or sorry, you're getting graded on this particular assignment as following the directions and doing color pictures and telling the story, but also in your paraphrasing and putting the putting these in your own words. Okay. Now the last box needs to have whether or not you think that acquiring that piece of land was justified or not and why. Okay. You don't need to have a picture in this box because you're mostly going to be writing in this box. Now this work is already done you have gone ahead and already thought about this. So read your answer again and see if it still makes sense to you. As you go through, a lot of times once you think 
um, will work for Florida or Louisiana, after you've done these a while, you start to realize, hey, maybe I have changed my mind on this. Okay. So make sure you read this and then um, edit it if you need to make sure it makes sense. Now, this information you can go ahead and put in that box. Okay. You don't need to summarize it or paraphrase it. It's already in your own words. So use that to your advantage and just go ahead and write it down um, and put it in this particular last box. So you only have to tell the story in one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. You don't have a lot of um, boxes to fill. Okay. But you want to fill all of the boxes. That is the expectation. Uh, <clears throat> And then this is your justifying box, and this is where you put your name and then the title of the land, okay? So that is the assignment, and I think I have covered most of the information. And I think that is it. Thank you.